I'm Brenda, and I spoke earlier as part of Make Hack Void, but I thought I'd take the little 10 minute slot that Jessica kindly created by having a short session herself um, to mention that Pi Ladies is coming to Australia. So the first uh, newsletter will come out early next week, and this is the website that already exists. I got lazy and didn't make slides because I thought the website's perfect for that. Um, so it's a really exciting time to be a woman in um, open tech and uh, programming, technology, making, all those different things. Because there's lots of movements now to help uh, support women in their involvement in it. Because it's historically been a fairly sexist um, domain, and, uh, but there's lots of really good things organised by women for women uh, that are happening now to even help with, like at Make Hack Void, for instance, we've used, there's a thing called the Ada Initiative, which is a really good uh, uh, thing promoting um, codes of conduct for con open source conferences and things. So, for instance, Make Hack Void's been able to use that code of conduct to make sure that Make Hack Void is a really safe and welcoming place for all people, uh, not just women. Anyway, so. And so one of the things that's happening at the moment is that Pi Ladies, which was initially started in America, um, has, is getting set up in Australia. And the idea of that is it's a group where to um, mentor and support women who are interested in programming uh, and using Python as the programming language to uh, introduce women to programming or to help existing programmers get better at it and things like that. So. Um, I don't think page down, sorry, I'll just scroll badly. So um, the Python community has been really good. They were one of the first to adopt the uh, codes of conduct for their conferences. They have really good support for women attending their conferences, and their conferences are a lot of fun to attend. So Python generally has, the Python community has been really good in its outreach to women, and that's partly why I've picked pro Python as the programming language I use the most. Um, because in Australia, at least initially, we don't know how many people we'll have in each location, we're trying to make it um, both a distributed and a local thing. So we've had our first uh, management meeting with about six women from all around Australia who are interested in starting it up. And we're thinking of doing things like uh, having remote self-paced learning with um, mentors that can help you if you get stuck at the self-paced learning. Um, and uh, some meetups as well online for the people who are participating in the training, for instance, as a way of overcoming the distance and the um, limited numbers of people around Australia. Uh, probably setting up some group Python projects as well to um, just, again, give you something to participate in. And then where there are enough women locally, have local meetups uh, to, to get together. Um, so how can you get involved? You can uh, join it uh, as we once we get uh, going locally. So I'm going to be the coordinator probably in Canberra, and we'll see if we can start getting some meetups happening. Um, it's all new, so it's a matter of it will again might be one of these communities that will be created by the people who participate in it to meet what they want. Um, and so, if you are interested, you can register online on this website. So it's just australia.pyladies.com if you're interested in registering. And I thought I'd also mention a couple other support groups that are in Canberra for um, women, or they're Australia-wide and now international. So Girl Geek Coffees has been started by uh, Miriam Hodgewell, who's an awesome woman from um, Queensland. And so there's a local Canberra branch of that. It's, it's mainly on Facebook, and because it's a private Facebook group, I didn't want to show you the Facebook group. But search on Facebook for Girl Geek Coffees and ask to join that. They had, for instance, a co they have regular, once a month or so, they have coffee, uh, usually sponsored by um, different companies, so that it's a, fr a free afternoon tea, basically, and you go and meet with really interesting other women in Canberra. There was one last week that was good. Um, so that's a good way to meet yeah, other women just in technology in general, no particular programming language focus. And also I'm aware I haven't met the women involved in this, but Rails is another uh, programming language that's had a really good outreach program for women. And they're actually ahead of Python in this case, that they've already run a session in um, Canberra in August last year 
So again, if you're interested in, in um, support for women in technology, that's another one to mention. So, any questions? Why is Python more popular than more important? Why is there be something other community like that for Perl? There are some, yeah, well, well, Ruby is the Rails girl, so yeah, so there is for that. I think it's, um, I mean, for me, I got into Python because I'm doing scientific programming and it just was a really good fit with what I needed to do. But then it was really, uh, I mean, I've had a 30-year career in IT, so it's just been like coming home, to sort of come into this community and feel really welcomed in it, um, instead of always feeling like an outsider. So... Um, it's partly an outreach idea as well. A lot of the women who are already using Python are pretty comfortable in the community. But uh, we think it's a really versatile and, and useful language and, and a really good way of introducing people to programming. Um, so that's why, I mean, and Pi Ladies, men can belong to Pi Ladies as helpers and mentors and so on. But it's just, uh, if uh, there's also a lot of outreach being done with Python that I'm really interested in. I've forgotten the name of the group, but there's a really good reaching out to scientists and teaching scientists. Um, both male and female, how to use Python because it is a great language for those uses. Is these, um, what raises awareness about kids should start coding or learn to code at school? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this. Um, I think often for kids there's a lot of good visual approaches and things that perhaps give them more immediate responses, although in Python you do have, I've forgotten the name of it, but you do have, like, there is a tur turtle Python. Um, so you can get started visually. Yeah, well, Turtle exists in lots of languages, and that's the one where you can quickly get to see the thing moving around. But um, so Pi Ladies, I guess, is outreach to adults mainly, and but also um, anyway, it'll begin. It'll become what it, what people want it to be. So if there's women who are really interested in doing outreach into schools, that can be done under the Pi Ladies banner. Okay. Any other questions? Did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you.